wanna go Tell me what you wanna do Baby, just be comfortable I'll be right here next to you Welcome back to my channel. So the most highly requested video is finally here um, And that is my foundation routine slash how to contour and highlight. I'm gonna put it together This is a full coverage foundation routine because I need that um, I have acne scars. I have uh, red marks. Um, I tend to break out so my face isn't perfect, um, I get really oily throughout the day, during winter I get really dry, so like for the longest time I had to find a good moisturizer, and I was using the Argan Oil from Josie Marin, which worked really well, but it got really expensive, I think it was like, um, I don't know how many fluid ounces it was, but it was like a small bottle, it was like the, the smaller bottle, and it was like 50 bucks, and the bigger one was like... 70 or something. Moisturizer that I use now is the Enzymian Facial Moisturizer from Lush, Lush <laughs> which looks like this. And all of my skincare products is Lush products, so all of that will be in the bottom bar below. And also I will be up, um, doing a skincare routine. This is a full coverage um, routine, like I said. You can obviously substitute some of the products that I use, like the foundation doesn't have to be full coverage. Um, but even though it's a full coverage, it never feels cakey. It doesn't feel like too much makeup. Like I, before, I was using different foundations and my face used to feel cakey throughout the day. It felt really heavy. But with my routine now, it actually feels like I don't really have much makeup on. So, I like it. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to try to make this as simple, easy. I'm going to be really in depth with all of the products that I use and try to show you step by step just how I go about it. So what I like to start off with is my found, I use a concealer to kind of conceal any marks or acne marks or whatever um, just to give me a little even more coverage, especially throughout the day. Um, and I have been breaking out a bit so that's kind of why I like to do this. And I use the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. This is actually like a little, a little bit too... Um, dark for me, but not too bad because after I put on my foundation and stuff it kind of blends in So that's what it looks like and this is shade number medium 28 And I'm just using a real techniques flat brush just to kind of apply it um, So I'm just gonna put that wherever I need coverage or more coverage And with concealers, if you are using a concealer to um, cover up any marks or anything, you are supposed to be using a concealer your skin tone um, for highlighting and all of that. It's supposed to be one or two shades lighter than you for highlighting and then for contouring it's supposed to be a shade or two darker than your skin tones. And then just grabbing my damp beauty blender and just gonna work that into my skin. I am watching TV in the background, so hopefully that you guys can't hear it too bad. Okay, and then after that, what I do is I go in with my... Oh, sorry. My nose is itchy. Mm. With my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger. That's what it looks like. And I use this as a base for my eyeshadow or whatever, um, so kind of like a eye primer. Um, obviously, you can use an actual eye primer. Um, I just the ones that I've used and tried, I don't really like. I feel like they just make my eyes patchy and my eyeshadow patchy. So I don't really like to use like an actual eye primer. And so I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. Sorry guys, I didn't realize that was 
um, super loud. Okay, and then once I have blended that out, I like to go in with just a loose translucent powder to set it. And the one that I use is the Laura Mercier uh, translucent loose powder. And all those products will be listed in the bottom bar. So I just grab a fluffy brush and I just kind of put it all over where I just placed that concealer. Okay, and then after that, I usually like to do my eye makeup or my eyeliner, whatever I'm doing for the day. And I'm going to be filming that off camera just because I don't want this video to be super long and I'm just kind of focusing on my foundation routine and how to contour and highlight. So once I have applied my um, eyeshadow or eyeliner, whatever I feel like doing today, um, I'll be right back to continue with the video. Okay, so now that we put on our eyebrows and I did my eye makeup, I'm going to continue with the rest of my face. The next thing I like to do is I'm going to grab my foundation and I use Born This Way by Too Faced in color vanilla. You know, it's full coverage. Um, it's supposed to like just give you like a flawless finish, which I feel like it does. Um, and I really like the consistency of it, so, and it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin, so. I'm just going to apply that all over with my Beauty Blender. And when you're applying um, foundation or concealer, whatever it is, and you're using a beauty blender, you want to make sure that you're patting it in and you're not really just like swiping it or just going like this. Um, you kind of want to take your time in it, time with it and kind of work it into your skin. really careful around my eyebrows because I don't want to like mess them up and obviously I could have done this before I put on my um my eyeshadow or my eyebrows um that's just completely optional to you or however you like to do it but I can do either or so And also bring it down the neck as well. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I'm going to go in with my Pro Concealer by LA Girl. I use Color Natural, and we're just going to be using this to highlight. So the areas that I like to highlight on a daily basis is under my eyes, of course. And with this product, you don't want to use too much because a little bit goes a long way. So, And I'm kind of dragging that out, too. I really like this concealer. I feel like it gives you a really nice coverage and a really nice highlight. Okay. And then down the bridge of my nose a little bit. And then a little bit on the forehead. Just working that in. And I'm also bringing that in towards my nose, the sides of my nose. And I like to use the butt of the Beauty Blender just to kind of diffuse it on the outside just so it doesn't look super highlighted because it kind of leaves a line and I don't like seeing that line so okay 
So then after that, I like to set my whole face except my under eye area where I placed that um, highlighter with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC35. So I'm going to take that and my Kabuki brush from Tarte. And also on the neck. So for this, you can use whatever powder you'd like. If you use like just a translucent powder to set your face or whatever, um, go ahead and use that. Just don't get the under eye hair because I am going to be setting that or I'm baking that with a different powder. Okay. So before I set my under eye area, I'm going to start contouring. So when I do this step, what I like to do is I don't need to use too much product with this because all I'm doing is kind of just creating the shape of my contour. So I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade Light palette and then this Kabuki brush from um, Real Techniques. And then I'm going to be using these two colors, kind of mixing both of those colors. And like I said, I'm not going to be using too much product. And then always tap off the excess. So really lightly starting from the top of the hollow of the cheek. So if you don't know what it is or you're kind of confused or you don't know where to start, like do a fishy face. And then when you start to see that line kind of go in, you want to start in that line. So kind of working your way downwards really lightly. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be cleaning it up and obviously we're going to be touching it up. Like I said, with this, you don't want to use too much um, product. So just kind of carve that shape out. And then also don't forget to kind of bring that up towards the temple. And then taking a little bit and going down. And then the same to the other side. And also don't forget to bring that product downwards too. So once again, starting from the very top of that hollow and going down with really little product. And then bringing that up towards the temple too. And then I'm going to do the sides of my nose just a little bit. And this, what I like to do is start from the very top, kind of like where it connects to your eyebrow. Start from there and then bring it all the way downwards. And then also on the bottom. So basically what that does, doing the sides of your nose, is to make it look thinner. If you do the under your nose, it makes it look uh, shorter. So, I mean, that's completely up to you. If you don't want it to make it look shorter, then you don't have to do that step um, of doing it on the bottom of your nose. And then on the sides of my forehead, just a little bit. And then also on the forehead, I don't like go. I don't like to go too deep into it because when you contour your forehead, it's giving you a kind of a appearance of a smaller forehead. So people with bigger foreheads um, tend to use that trick just so it doesn't look as big. So since I don't have that big of a forehead, I don't like to go too deep in it. So I just like to do the sides of my nose just to kind of give me a definition. I like to pack the product into the lid. Then I like to go in with a dry beauty blender grabbing that product and just placing it under the eye area and I like to really pack it on and then also going to the sides of my nose and 
and then the other eye. I love this translucent powder like this is my holy grail ever since I started I always heard good things about it and then I finally used it and I was like you know what now I get why everybody likes it because it's just it gives you such a nice highlight it makes you matte like it really helps with my oily skin so I really like it and I recommend it if you're looking for a translucent powder a setting powder or if you want to like bake your face I highly recommend this product so with the contour on the cheeks, what I like to do is the bottom where that like contour ends, I kind of like to go in and then just kind of lightly drag it down to clean it up. And obviously it's going to fade. That's why I like to go in again after I'm done with this. That's why the first time around I didn't use a lot of product because it does tend to fade. There was actually a person on Facebook that had asked me that. Um, she wanted to know what she should do because it fades. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a, a video because it's kind of hard to explain through a comment. So I hope that this helps. But just kind of clean it up a bit. And then on the other side too. And if you guys have any questions, if I didn't make myself clear, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. I'm just trying to make this as easy and descriptive and in-depth as I can. Because a lot of people ask me how I go about my face. So I'm trying to like really get in all the details. And then also I like to do it on the forehead. So this baking process, I usually leave it on my face for a couple minutes, um, just like three to five minutes, just depending on how, I mean, regardless, it's going to look nice, but I mean, the more that you leave it, the nicer that it'll look and the more highlighted it'll look. So you can do your eyelashes, you can put on your eyelashes, you can do whatever um, during that time. And so this is what the translucent powder it looks like. And I've had this for about a month already and I feel like I still have like more than 50% of product in here. So, and I use this on a daily basis. So I think it's pretty good. So while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and do my, um, I'm going to put mascara on. I'm going to put my fake falsies on and yeah, we'll be back to kind of finish off our face. Okay, so now that we let that bake, I finished the rest of my eye makeup. And then I'm going to go in with just a big fluffy powder brush. This one's just from Sephora. You guys can use, see that I like use it for this because it's like white. So we're just going to be brushing off that excess powder from the baking. So now, actually, let me put my hair back because I let it down. Um, okay. So now we're actually going to actually contour. So going in with that same palette and that same brush, we're going to be using those two colors that I was using. Obviously, you can use whatever colors from the palette. This is just how I like to use them. Following that same shape, but I'm just deepening, deepen, deepening it up. I hope that makes sense. So starting from the top and then working. I think the reason I like to mix those two colors together is because it makes a really nice color. And then to the other side. You can hear like, I don't know if you guys can hear my table shaking, but it was like shaking. Bringing that up. And then going over my nose. So once you're happy with how, with the shape of it and the 
color. Um, I like to go in again with that same, just whatever powder is left on it, just to kind of clean it up a little bit more. So there you have it. And then I'll just go in and just kind of just so everything kind of blends in. We're going to finish off our face by highlighting. So you can take whatever highlighter you like. I use a lot. I use like the Makeup Forever HD, uh, HD Duo um, palette. I use the Mary Luminizer from the Balm. Um, and then I also had this little palette from the Balm that has all three of them in it what it looks like so I'm just gonna be taking the Mary luminizer from the bomb and I just like to use kind of like a flat um, powder brush this one's from Sephora doesn't say name or number but it just looks like that and what I like to do is I like to grab my max fix plus and just kind of spray it a little bit just so it gets a little damp because that way it picks up a little bit more product and it's a little bit more pigmented so I'm just gonna be Grabbing some of that product to zoom in so you guys can see. And then I'm just going to be putting that wherever you want to highlight. I'm just going to place that on the bridge of my nose. Kind of packing it on. So I don't like to brush through it because I feel like when you brush, you're just kind of wiping away like the product. So I just like to pat it onto my nose. That way it gets a little bit more. And I'm going to apply that to the tip of my nose. And then going downward as well oh girl that highlight though and then the other side as well and when you're applying highlighter make sure that you have a good lighting and that you're looking towards light like you want to turn your head and then just kind of look at the where you're placing it that way if you put too much on or whatever you can see better a little bit on the chin and a little bit on the forehead and on my cupid's bow hey guys so I am done with my makeup I put in my extensions I have the Bellamy extensions and um, so all the products that I used in this video will be in the bottom bar below I hope this video was helpful for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I know a lot of people really requested this video and um, so yeah I really hope that you guys liked it and found it helpful if you have any questions on any other products that are used or anything please leave it in the comments below I will get to it so a lot of you really liked the self-made palette video that I made a lot of you thumbs up for another video which I will be making on um, my eyebrow routine is to come still my skincare routine um, and also holiday edition looks will be coming since Thanksgiving is coming up um, Christmas New Year's and so all of that so I'm gonna be having a lot of looks coming for holiday um, holiday edition is what I'm gonna call it and so yeah if you guys have any requests for any look um, or any other videos besides like holiday or like my skincare eyebrow please leave it in the comments below I love when you guys give me your um, feedback so yeah and if you subscribe to me if you haven't already um, there's a lot more coming to this channel and I'm really excited. I'm also working on my website, which I will be l talking about in another video later in the future when I'm done with it because I'm still editing and working on it. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. Oh, yeah, And this is the finished look for you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video.